Remember that torque is R cross F, radius cross the force. Now, if you're not going to actually use the cross product and calculate the direction of torque, because torque is a vector, and you're just going to use the magnitude equation, torque equals RF sine theta, then you must have some way to determine the direction that the torque goes, thus making it a vector. The trick that we use is called the right-hand rule. You align your fingers with the first variable, and then curl them in the direction of the second variable in the cross product. Then stick out your thumb and see which direction it goes. In this case, using my right hand, I align my fingers with the radius. I then curl them down towards the force and stick out my thumb. My thumb points out, up out of the page, so torque is coming up out of the page. Now the same exact principle is used for wheels also. I, uh, I align my fingers with the radius, and this is actually going to require that I rotate my wrist downwards like this, because whenever I align my fingers with the radius, I th then need to curl them towards the force. The force is going that way. Notice F. So I curl them towards the force, stick out my thumb. Notice my thumb is pointing down into the page, which should make a lot of sense to you, because if F equals MA and a force produces an acceleration, obviously in that same exact direction, and torque equals I alpha, then a torque should produce a angular acceleration. The torque and the angular acceleration should point in the same direction, and we use right-hand rule for angular acceleration as well.